Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install your piston into your motor. Now, this is the 6.0 I've been building on the channel. I got tons of videos on it. We just got done gapping the wings to each cylinder. This is cylinder number two. I do got it tagged. As you can see, we don't need it no more as it's going in the motor. So, the first thing you want to do is clean up your pistons extremely good. Brake clean. And uh, remove your old bearings if they're still in it because we are replacing those. If you're not replacing yours, you can leave the bearings in it. But uh, I recommend replacing your bearings anytime you enter a motor, even if they don't need it. I mean, why not? So, your bearings pretty much remove the same way. Just press down here, and they come up, and you can remove them. The size of your bearing is on the back. These are standards, GMs. This whole motor has been a standard uh, motor. So, I'm going to give this to my helper. And they're going to spray this piston off a little bit with brake clean. But first I'm going to show you uh, how to line your line uh, wings up. This is how I do mine. This dot is pretty much the front of the motor. You kind of got to load well place right here. You don't want to line your wings up in the center. So usually what I do is I turn my wings about like so. And then I take this top one here. And I always put the two little oil scraper wings on the back opposite from one another let's see it's over here so i need to move that gap over there it's very easy to do you can take a little pick and just move this top wing here just scoot it till you get it where you want it i mean the wing's going to spin in the motor some but it just in case they don't, this is basically what I do. So, just turn that over and bring this bottom one closer. Maybe I can use my fingernail. Yeah, it'll work. Okay. A gap is here, here. Now, you see this little center gold ring here? These need to go up. There's a connecting point, and that connecting point needs the tabs up on it. It shouldn't hurt if you install it backwards, but on instructions, so here's that little tab. That little tab, if this will focus, that little tab right here needs to be up. And I like to keep that tab over here, and uh, my compression wing, I always turn it here, and I leave this wing on the back towards here, and nothing lines up. You know, no compression wings is straight down. They're opposite from one another. And always oil your wings up good for install. So let's go ahead and turn this crank over. Uh, I like to install one piston and I always spin it over and make sure the engine uh, spins each time I do one of them. Because you don't want to put all your pistons in there and one of them be in backwards or something and the motor won't spin. If you do it one at a time, checking as you go, you know... You, you know which piston it is. Basically, if everything works, you put the other piston in it, and it don't work, take that piston, and, you know, it, that's the one causing trouble. So once everything is up here, you want to go ahead and clean this off. Brake clean is what I use. This is from AutoZone. Uh, don't matter where you get it. And just spray everything down. All your cylinders right here. And uh, you want all the dirt out of these. Once you get everything sprayed down, you can take your towel and just uh, lightly just wipe everything. Make sure it's clean, no dirt on it. Take it and put it in your cylinder. Wipe out your cylinders extremely good. As you can see, yours is pretty clean. Uh, I've been building this motor on a porch. Yeah, it can be done outside over overhang. Now, your new bearings uh, on these rods, on this LS, it don't matter which is top or bottom, they're both the same. Spray them off with brake clean and clean them because sometimes they got oil and dirt on them. If you look real close, this one does. Before you install them. Also, clean this for your oil. Keep it nice and dry. You don't want no oil under that when you uh, do this. Now, you can plastic gauge your bearings. I marked mine and mine's within spec of the bearings I took out. And this motor ran. So, pretty much... I say everything's good to go. Uh, these just snap in. Make sure all edges is level. You can see this one's up just a tad. Just smash it down just a little. Like that. Everything feels even now. 
just helps with the install. So next step, oil your wings and stuff up good. I just use some old uh, Dollar Store Pins oil. Uh, just take it and just pour it over the piston. I'm going to do it off camera. But uh, just lube everything up good. You lift the pin and everything. I also put a little lube on this. You don't need much because we've got a semi lube. Also make sure your glove is clean and lube the inside of your cylinder walls. I just put some oil in my hand here. Take it. Then you can take and put you a little bit of assembly lube on this. You can't never have too much. And turn your motor over. Because we are working with piston number two. So we need cylinder two. Now if you can see, your cylinder is nice and clean and uh, ready for install. We are going to take a piston that we got our wings and everything lined up on. Double check it, which it looks pretty damn good to me, from what I can tell anyway. So I highly recommend you get one of these ARP 4-inch uh, bore tapered uh, sleeves. You just put your piston down in it, just like so. Make sure it's facing the right way. And your wings is where you need it. And then line it up in the bore. Make sure it's kind of straight. If not, you can twist your piston and it'd be a mess. You know, you have to twist it inside though. Make sure all your wing grooves and everything is lined up. So it drop down in all good. I think I'm having trouble with number two. Ain't 100% on that. Yeah, right here. So I need to pick up on this just a little. Mash this down in there. You can see right here. Yeah. Once you get it started, it'll, it'll load itself pretty much. Just like so. So. Just like so. Move this over. That wing. Where's that number two at? Okay. We good. I want to make sure my wings is lined up. Now you can use a rubber hammer to tap these down. Very simple. You can actually mash them down by hand. But uh, just however you want to do it. But that's how simple that tool is. Just like so. So now we got the cylinder in. We're going to flip it over and install it. And you can help by holding up on this. Put you some more lube on that if you need it. Uh, when it's warm out, this lube right here actually is quite runny. But it does leave a nice film on it so you don't get a dry start. So, we can take our finger, keep it straight, keep it going. Our bearing is on it. Everything's good to go. When we go, and you can tell when it's uh, bottomed out by the change of sound. You don't want to force it. Then you can clean your cap off and then install your new bed. So it goes in the same way. Let's take the old one out. Just press down on it. Spin out. Break clean this and clean it up. You can see we dry those off. The bed sets in the same way. You want to make sure your bed is extremely clean. This one does need wiped out a little bit more. I think it got dirt from my glove. But... We'll make sure all the tabs is level. It's setting the way it should be. And you can tell that is not setting the way it needs to be. Now it is. It snapped. Should be good to go though. Lube your bearing up. Your caps go on one way. Make sure they go on the right way. You stick it Gen 2 rods as fractured caps. We'll make sure they go in right. Once you get these tightened, you want to take them to 15 foot-pounds. So let's go ahead and start a torque wrench here. Let it calibrate. 15 foot-pounds. Be very good if my hands weren't so quick. But we're just going to snug one side up at a time. 15. 15. Once you do that, they 75 degrees. 
So let's go ahead and calibrate this for 75 degrees. Get ready. Here we go. Does that one? We recalibrate it for 75 degrees again. This is good to go. And that's all you have to do to install your piston. You can make sure it turns and spins now. That way if you have any trouble, you know which piston it is. This piston spins great. So I'm happy to have it installed now. So this is the motor all finished up. Uh, it's pretty well turns over easy. Uh, this is oil and I can't turn it by hand, but I got this bolt here. Spins over good. I'm very happy with it. Uh, got to finish cleaning it up for paint, install a cam, new time and chain, uh, maybe a new oil pump. Uh, tons of content coming up on this video. And you guys get to watch me uh, set it in the truck and see if it runs. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it runs good. Because I built this on the porch. You know, they, they three more here too. Yeah. Two Camaro motors, uh, one C30 motor. So if you found this helpful, as always, drop a like, leave a comment, I enjoy hearing from everyone, and show your support for my channel by smashing that subscribe button. I'm not a super big YouTuber, but, you know, I try to make as good a content as I can, especially off my front porch. Thank you for watching.